With patience, a ruler may be persuaded, and a soft tongue will break a bone. Good Sunday morning. Gentleness will overcome power. What works best with angry leaders? Submissive yielding. It goes a long way in diffusing a hot-tempered leader. I speak from experience. Wisdom includes the ability to persuade those in power, which is a very useful ability. The main authorities in our lives are parents, employers, government officials, and pastors. And speaking as a pastor, I'm persuaded more by patient reverence than by angry debate. Your cause might be important and right, but wisdom calls for respectful appeals. Trust this wise counsel for dealing with those that are over you. You may need to persuade a boss to trust your recommendation. Learn to embrace this proverb and you'll be recognized as a skillful representative in dealing with authorities. Our divided culture teaches the opposite of this wisdom. And the results are proving the adage, a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. Demanding your way and expecting an authority to embrace your opinion, it's a rebellion that's only going to create bitterness in him. Rather than moving the one in authority toward your cause, it's going to force him to dig his heels in on his position and punish your insubordination. Human nature is proud. Proud, rebellious, and selfish. It assumes everyone is created equal and we have rights. But the Bible does not teach this arrogant presumption. The reality is no two people are created perfectly equal. Some people are put in positions of authority with little or no merit, yet that position gives them power over others. God created offices of authority, and disrespect of that authority is a widespread problem in our rebellious world. If you seek to persuade an authority to change, you must wait for them to consider your cause. Impatiently demanding change will generally work against you. Give leaders some time to digest your input. A soft tongue is a symbol of respectful speech. It's so effective that it is described as being able to break bones. Rather than arguing your case, a meek and reverent appeal works far better. Aggressive and harsh words leave leaders feeling disrespected. Instead of honestly considering your cause, he's going to reject it outright simply because he can because of his position. The more humility you show, the more you respect a person for his position, the greater influence you're going to have with him. Lord, help me to patiently wait on your timing in every area of my life, especially when I'm dealing with people in authority. I know I can't change people, only you can. Remind me that self-control over my tongue can make or break a situation. Forgive me for those times that I've allowed my impatience to take control and it ended up causing just a boatload of problems. Lord, I want to trust you and patiently wait. Help me, help me to trust you more, I pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. It's Sunday morning.